Hello, and thank you for joining me. We're here with data science teacher Brandon, and let's learn about heat maps in Seaborn. Okay, so I'm just uploading a data set from SQLite just to get the number out. I'm reducing it to eight columns just to have a nice shape to work with today. Okay, uh, so what we typically do is SNS heat map, and we put data frame dot core. This is really where where it's used the most common. You can put any matrix into a heat map but really this is this is, i would say this is the most common there are other ways to use it but this is what you're putting a correlation matrix where everything correlated with itself is one and then this is a bivariate correlation okay for each one of these put this into it you can see here very 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 handy just even as it is in the basic level uh we can see the negative correlation and as dark and the positive correlation is positive let's make this a little bit prettier though Okay, so we can start with, we're going to put df.core, we can start with line width, and it has a nice little space in the middle, kind of play around with it and see what, what, what feels right, but uh, it definitely helps. One thing, even though I only used eight columns here, I would say that it's still a little bit small, truthfully, and so what we can do here is we can increase the size, so Seaborn uses matplotlib to really generate its graphics, it just does a lot of the, the legwork for you, so much of the legwork. Uh, if you can still use, you would use then matplotlib to change the figure size. So matplotlib, plt dot figure, big size, and we're giving it a tuple. Eighth is the width, and sixth is the height. And it gives us a nice little, much better shape, and it starts to look quite a bit nicer here. We're doing a little bit smaller line width. Okay, doing again the matplot figure. The next thing we're going to do is keep uh, the df core. Keep the line width, and we're going to add a note equals true because these colors are good, but really you can't really tell which one of these, you know, they're both negative, they're very, very negative, but how negative is that relationship? And so it's a little bit hard to see the way it is right here. Okay, so we add a note, and really I think this is a must when you're using the heat map is a note equals true because we really want to see. So that is actually a big difference, it's 0.09, it's a 10% different correlation. You could not, you can't really tell that by this is black, really truthfully. Maybe your eyes are better than mine, but really truthfully, you don't, you want to make it as easy as possible for your end user, and so you don't want them to have to struggle to analyze the note. This just makes it much easier. Okay. And here we're going to go again, we're going to add C map, change the colors. I don't like the basic colors of the heat map. I think that's the one place Seaborn does not do a good job, is with its basic colors in the C map or in the heat map. Or just, yeah. Uh, so I usually use Crest, this is one of my favorite ones, and it looks quite nice, it's much easier now to see the positive and negative, and you can really get a good texture right there. Again, you still can't really tell the difference between negative 4.5 and negative 5, but those look pretty close, okay? If you want to try a different palette, though, what you can do is just make an error, uh, spell, spell Crest incorrectly, spell anything incorrectly, and you'll get a list of what you can actually put in. And there are probably a lot more that, that go out of this list, but this gives you lots to try with, and you can usually find a good one. I have tried all of them. Crest is my favorite. Let me know if you find a better one, though. I also like to, one of the things about a, a correlation matrix is often you'll have a positive and a negative correlation. Like in this data set, why I specifically downloaded this data set is because it has a positive and negative correlation. So we could use SNS light palette, and really you just put in any palette. I just went to colormine.io, grabbed one of the ones that I liked. And it makes a, a palette out of this. So you can see it goes from light, starts at light palette, starts light, and then goes to dark. Now this is really nice if you have, say, just positive correlation. You can see the strength of just the positive correlation. But here we have negative and positive. And it seems kind of weird to make the negative just a white color, right? So what we can use is instead of the light palette, we can use the diverging palette and really add context. Now you can really see how highlighted the positive correlations are versus the negative correlations. This it really makes it easy for your end user. And that's really what this is for. Like you could probably survive with this beginning map. You can really, okay, this is good. It's not good enough to, for my analysis, but you're doing this for your end user, right? And so you needed to make it as easy as possible for them to understand. And I think heat map with SNS palette Seaborn's palettes, diverging light palette can really make it shine and really make your heat map easy for your end user to understand, even with really understanding what a correlation matrix is. Okay, thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you for the next one.